Hi guys, how are we doing? Welcome to today's class, which is gonna be the abs and core workout. Um, as I always say, watch what I do first of all. We'll get a little warm up going. Um, I'll demonstrate, so watch one or two reps. I'll keep coming back and forth to the mic to talk you through the exercise as you're doing it so I can coach you. Um, anytime you need to rest, work at your own pace. Make sure you've subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. And if you could give a thumbs up as well to like the video, that'd be great. Um, we're going to start off with a like a press up position. So if you go hands under shoulders, and then you can either go back to the knees, so you're in like a half press up position, or you can come a bit more forward. And then from there, all you're going to do is just touch the shoulder and down, touch the shoulder and down. So we're alternating the little touch of the shoulder. Okay, that's going to activate the core. So when you lift the hand up, we're just working the core. You think about drawing the belly button in. All right, so we're getting the transverse abdominus working, which is one of the inner unit muscles. So we're just getting that fired up first of all. The longer, the more time you spend on one hand, the harder it's going to be. And really try and pay close attention to not rotating through the hips. So we're keeping the hips square and limiting that rotation. We're just doing another 10 seconds. Okay, good, hold it there. Now you're gonna spin round. Um, we'll do one minute on this one. Draw the belly button in, one hand under the back, one hand on top, and then a little bit of pressure down on the hand underneath. So belly button drawn in, hold it there, and then we'll work for a minute. You've got two more options. You can extend one leg and back, and then the other leg, or you can try it with both feet up, and then extend the leg and back. Okay, but whichever way you do it, make sure it's nice and controlled. So if you're moving the legs nice and controlled, draw the belly button in, and try and keep pressure down on the hand under the back. So again, this one mainly focusing on the inner unit, the core, it's all about control. It's about the brain engaging the right areas, which is transverse abdominis, the muscle drawing the belly button in, and the lower abs as well. So we're pushing the back down, that's gonna posteriorly tilt the pelvis, which is gonna activate the lower abs. So these first two exercises is just about um, firing up the right muscles, so when we progress on, we get to the, the more complicated or the more the outer unit muscles, then the inner unit's working, it's fired up. Just last five seconds there. Good, relax, hold it there. <clears throat> right, so we go back <clears throat> to the first one, although this time I'll give you the option of doing it on the toes. Um, what I would suggest is going wide with the feet. So press up position, wide with the feet, little tap and back little tap back um, we'll just do 30 seconds on this one starting the clock now when you do the tap work hard not to twist okay so we're trying to keep the torso still so we're limiting limiting any shift all right so try not to do this where you shift over all right we want to try and limit that shoulders and hips square shoulders and hips square okay so that will mean we have to engage those muscles around the pelvis, around the shoulder girdle to stabilize the movement, to limit the movement as the, the weight shifts. Just another five seconds. Good, and relax. Spin around, back on your back, hand on top, hand underneath. One minute, off you go. So with the movement or just hold. So one minute on that, draw the belly button in, keep the belly button in, and then a little bit of pressure down on the hand underneath. So these, this one especially is um, uh, more subtle, and it's more about the brain connecting to those muscles that we're trying to work. So I say it again, whilst you're doing that, um, make sure you subscribe to the channel, that would be a big help to me. And if you could leave a thumbs up as well on this video, that will help as well. Check out the playlist I've created. One is the follow along workouts, which this one will be added to. 
Um, so they're all about half an hour, follow along workouts. And then also no gym workouts, um, which will give you ideas of some other stuff you can do whilst we're in lockdown. Right, last 10 seconds. And also, um, if you know anyone who'd like to be added to the Facebook group, then add them or invite them to the group, Ricky Warden Fitness Live on Facebook. Hold it there, relax. <clears throat> right, so we're going to move on. We're going to do a little combination of planks, um, two side planks and one plank. So we're going to start on one side. I'll give you the options first. So you can go 30 seconds on each. You can go feet down and up there. Or you can bend the knees, take the feet behind and come there. Plank would be here. Make sure the hips aren't too high or dropping down too low. Or down on the knees. We do 30 seconds, starting on one side, doesn't matter which side, off you go now. So straight line, so make sure we're not rounding. So push the hips forward, lift the chest up, work in the side nearest the floor. Remember, knees down, feet behind if you need to make it easier. We've got 15 seconds left. Spin straight round onto the front plank. So toes easier, uh, sorry, toes harder, knees easier. So you can just hold there if you need to. So we'll end up doing two sets on the plank. Keep the abs tight. So we want to try and tuck the pelvis underneath. Coming into the last 10 seconds now. Last five. Good, straight up onto the other side, plank, 30 seconds. Feet harder, bend the knees, take the feet behind to make it easier. We're gonna do more side planks as we go through the session, so this is just setting us up for it. So we know what we're doing. You've got 15 seconds left. And then we're gonna finish off with another plank and I'll give you another option on this final plank. Coming into the last five seconds now, Okay, good, right, so the plank option is a little tap and back. So off you go, little tap and back. Again, like we did in the warm-up, try and work hard not to shift. So when you tap the hand out, try not to twist. Keep the shoulders and the hips square. That's gonna cause the obliques, the abs, to work a lot harder to stabilize that position. Okay, we're coming into the last 10. And relax, well done, hold it there. Just have a little rest. Good stuff. Um, right, so we're gonna do a little sequence. Um, we're gonna start off with the side plank, so like we've just done there. Um, let's do left arm down first, so we all know where we are. So we go left arm down, so side plank again. 30 seconds, you can do it on the feet. You can bend the knees, take the feet behind. From there, we're gonna go left, twisting crunch so left shoulder goes up across okay and then it'll be a side crunch the legs will go to the right and then crunching up right so all on the left side first 30 seconds on the plank 45 on the two on the twisting crunch and the side crunch so get yourself ready off you go 30 seconds side plank first so if you go left arm down then we all know where we're at If you want to make it harder, you can go top foot off the bottom foot. That's up to you. Coming into the last 10 seconds. Hips forward, chest up, shoulders back. Okay, good. Down on your back, so left shoulder up to right knee, twist. Off you go, 45 on this one, up and across. So this one, we get that twist. Whenever we do any twisting movements, the obliques are working, so the sides of the stomach are responsible for that torso twist. Up and across, doesn't have to be a big movement. 
as long as we're getting the shoulder up and towards the right, right knee. Right, coming into the last 10 seconds. Last five, <coughs> excuse me. Good, legs off to the right, so we bring the knees up and over. Use your right hand, off you go, 45. Side crunch, coming straight up. So if you keep your eyes fixed on a point straight above, and then you're crunching up towards that point, so working that top side, that left side. So we're finishing off um, pre-fatigued with the previous two exercises, now finishing off that left side. 10 seconds left. Last five. Good, hold it there, relax. Right, so next up, we're gonna do this, um, before we go on to the right side, we're gonna do two more exercises. First one, um, we go from here, from a crunch position, shoulders up, extend the arms, extend the legs, come back to there. Okay, so lifting up, extend the legs. 45, off you go. You can shorten the movement if you need to, so you can just do smaller movement. Okay, longer movement, harder. And we really gotta work hard to keep the lower back pressed down. So extend out, crunch up. Last 20. If you really struggle, put the feet down and just do a crunch, normal crunch. Keep it going, coming into the last five seconds now. Okay, relax, right, so before we go onto the right side, we do a twist, so sit yourself up, lean back, hands in front, and then twist. Rotate, keep the chest up so we're not collapsing down. 45, off you go. And we follow the hands round. So we're actually rotating, rotating the torso round. So when you lean back, that's when the tension goes in the abs. So it's the abs, the hip flexors that are stopping you from going all the way back down. And then the twisting movement, the obliques are working. Okay, 15 seconds. Try and keep the chest up. That's five. Good, so we do exactly the same now with the right side. So be right side plank first, right arm down. Get yourselves ready, 30 seconds on this one. Okay, off the gate coming up. So remember, top foot up is the hardest version. Just hold there, or easier, take the feet behind, come up halfway. Hips forward, chest up, shoulders back. Ten seconds. Very good. Down on your back. Right shoulder up towards left knee. Twist. Off you go. Forty-five on this one. Up and across. Remember this one, we're getting a twist. Um, I did a, an abs and core workout last week. It's still on the YouTube channel. Um, so if you go to the follow along workout playlist, you'll see the, um, the abs and core that I did last week. So obviously at any time you can go back and do these workouts again. Right, like five seconds. Good, hold it there. So now we're gonna go knees up and over to the left. Left hand, keep the legs down, 45, off you go. Side crunch. One 
Working that right side on top there. So keep your eyes fixed and then go straight up towards that point straight above. So remember, as always, give me your feedback. Let me know what you think of the class. Any um, uh, suggestions you've got of, of future classes, let me know. You can leave down in the comments on YouTube as well as the Facebook group. My last five seconds. I done relax good. So then we will do a bicycle twist. So now from there, lie down on your back, and then we're going to go shoulder with the legs up, shoulder up across the opposite leg, back and down, shoulder across, back and down. Off you go. Forty-five. Option would be feet down and just do a twisting crunch. With the feet up, makes it a lot harder. We're working the lower abs to keep. Hold that position. Extend the other leg, twist up, opposite shoulder, opposite knee, back and down. Shoulder up towards opposite knee, back and down. Right, last 10. Good, have a little rest there. We'll just have a quick stretch. So you're gonna take the arms up overhead, legs out, straight, arms up. And then bring the knees to the chest. Just hugging the knees in tight, stretching out through the lower back. And then we're gonna go back and do that sequence once more. So we're gonna go back to the side plank, left side first. So if you get yourselves ready, left arm down. 30 seconds on this one. Off we go, coming up, straight line. Top foot is harder. Feet behind, bend the knees easier. seconds okay, well, that's good um, so then it's the twist left shoulder to right knee 45 on this one off you go coming up and across seconds get that twist get that rotation 10 seconds good legs over to the right use your right hand off you go 45 side crunch so make sure the knees are up high not down here bring the knees up Finishing off that left side. Remember with this one, coming straight up, keep your eyes fixed on a point above. Fifteen seconds. Tonight's class is a kettlebell class, so there is a workout still on YouTube from last week. But I'll try and make it different tonight, a few different exercises. Okay, hold it there, relax. So then we've got the two, and um, we do the crunch into the legs, out, crunch, legs out, crunch. So if you really struggle, just do the crunch there. 45, off you go. Or the other option is to shorten the movement. Okay, so when the legs are straighter, straighter and longer, further away from the midline makes it harder. So you can shorten that if you need to. 
whichever way you do it, try and keep the back pressed down so we're not arching the back away from the floor. Okay, 15 seconds. Keep it going, last five. Three, two, one, good. And then sit yourself up, but we lean back and then hands out in front, rotate. Off you go, 45. Remember, by leaning back, abs are tight, abs are working to hold the position. The rotation is the oblique size of the stomach. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Good, relax. Then we will go to the right arm, side plank, right arm down. 30 seconds on this one. Off you go. Coming up, hold. Nice straight line. Top foot harder. On the knees, feet behind easier. Try not to rotate. Keep the chest up. Okay, shoulders back. Last 10 seconds. Relax. Then it was the twist, right shoulder to left knee, 45, off you go, up and across. So lever that right shoulder, get that twist. Also, what you can do on YouTube, if you click on the bell, there's a little bell icon. Um, if you click on that, then that will notify you of when any new videos are released. So that means you won't miss out when I release one of these follow along workouts. You'll know when it's there, it will notify you so you can do the workout as soon as, as, soon as it's released. 10 seconds left. Okay, good, relax. So then the side, legs will go to the left. Off you go. 45. Little side crunch coming straight up. Working that top side, right side. Keep it going, coming into the last 10 seconds now. Coming straight up. Five seconds. Good, relax. Bicycle twist, either legs up or feet down. Up and across, back, up and across, back, off you go, four to five. So we go to the opposite knee, shoulder up to opposite knee, back and down. Shoulder up, opposite knee. So it's not a race. You can do it slow and controlled if you want to. That's going to be harder anyway. All right, we're doing it to time. So we're all working for the same time. If you're doing it controlled, then you're just more aware of, of what's going on. So you're engaging the muscles more. Right, you've got 10 seconds left. Good, um, right. so then we just have a, another quick little stretch. So take the arms up overhead as you were before, legs straight, arms up. So we're lengthening out through the abs, arch the back away from the floor, arms overhead, legs straight, arch the back. Okay, that lengthens out through there. And then from there, lean to one side. That's gonna stretch down one side. So keep the arms up and lean across. And then lean across the other way, stretching out through the other side. Okay, then this one we're spinning around on your knees, 
hands for a drop chest. Sit back. We've got one more thing to do to finish off, which is um, a good exercise, which I use quite a lot in my abs class. So sitting back on the heels first of all, stretching the quads, lower back. Okay, hold it there. Right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna work for 20 seconds. We're gonna start in a sit-up, at the top of a sit-up position, and then lower ourselves down, all the way down to, we get to the shoulders down to the floor. So it looks like this, so from here, hands on your knees, and then you're controlling the movement going down. We'll work for 20 seconds. So all controlled all the way, and then finally finishing off with the shoulders down. So I will talk you through, I'll keep you um, aware of the time, so you, you've got an idea of how to pace it. So if you get yourselves ready, hands on your knees, hands on your thighs, 20 seconds. We'll try for five reps of these, starting the clock now. So just a small movement. Five seconds gone, keep going, keep going, control. 10 seconds, so lower back should be making contact now with the floor. Last five, hold it. Three, two, one, all the way down, good. That's one, coming back up. So we just have a few seconds rest in between each rep. So if you get yourselves ready, so now you know more on the pace you need to go at. 20 seconds, off you go, starting now. So controlled. Five seconds gone, keep going, hold, hold, hold. 10 seconds, hold it. Last five, so just last little bit. Finish off with the shoulders, three, two, one, good. Two down, three to go, coming back up. Now be aware of a weaker point where you feel like you're gonna lose uh, the hold, try and hold just before you get to that weaker point. Off you go, 20 seconds again. So three more to do. Control, Ten, uh, five seconds gone, keep going, hold it, 10 left, come to the last five, three, two, one, all the way down, good, just two more to go, coming back up ready, all right, so again, try and hold just before you get to that point where you feel like you're going to lose it, off you go, 20 seconds, two more, control, Five gone. Ten gone. Hold it, try not to lose it. Five seconds left. Three, two, all the way down, good. One more then, coming back up. Get yourselves ready. 20 seconds, last one. I'll just give you a couple more seconds. All right, ready, three, two, one, off you go. 20 seconds, last one, make it a good one. Really try and hold almost go into a crunch position so we're making sure the abs are tight just coming up to eight nine ten seconds now keep going hold it hold it hold it last five now three two one all the way down go straight into that stretch again legs out straight arms up overhead lengthen out the abs arch the back so as always i recommend doing further stretching after once we've finished here so we'll just do a couple of stretches Again, make sure you like the video and subscribe. That will all be a big help. And then click on the bell as well so you're notified of when the new videos come out. Lean to one side. Also, send your photos and videos into the Facebook group and I can post, make a post at the end of the week. Lean the other way. So we can see people doing the workouts. Right, good, then hug the knees into the chest. So just releasing out through the lower back. So as always, let me know what you thought. You can leave a comment in the YouTube comment section or you can write on the Facebook group. All right, spin around, then we're gonna stretch the hip flexors. So stretching down the front of the thigh, one foot forward. We first push the hips forward and then the arm goes up in towards the lead leg. All right, so whichever knee is down, the same arm will come up. All right, swap over, other leg. Hips forward, lean back, and then arm up and over into the lead leg. Last 
last one then. Sit back. Top chest. Sit back on the heels. So yeah, let me know what you thought. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on the bell. Check out the follow along workouts on the playlists and check out the no gym workouts as well. Just to give you ideas if you're stuck before in between the classes that I do or you miss one. Hold it there. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought and I'll see you very soon. Take care.